Hello, friends. It's clown time. Cow pokes, cow folks, every kind of cow children, cow girls, cow boys, any non binary. Cow gals, cow pals, hoping no brigands will kill them. Cow kin, cow skin, whatever cow you be. All cow children, every afflicted pilgrim, countless millions, any demography. Cow pokes, cow folks, every kind of cow children, cow kin, cow skin, whatever cow you be. Cow children, derailing lives in an inescapable West. Today's cow child is... Let's get this thing open. Here we go! What's going on? Get up! We've got to vacate this cell. Come with us. Now sit down here, please. How long have you been in this prison? Years, I think. That's more or less what the record says. And the crime? I'm a prisoner of conscience. Is that what they're calling it these days? I have no idea what they're calling it these days. I've been in chains. According to our plan, that's about to change. You're going to execute me. Or is my sentence... The circus is coming to town. Literally, our mayor demands a circus. And a circus needs clowns. That's where you come in. And if you'll sign here, you'll be free. In a way... To work, to amuse, to bring delight. All right, I'll do it. Oh, good. Good. Some people have a strange hatred of clowns, mimes and funny men. Seeing them or being them. I said I'll do it. I never much wanted to be a clown, but I never wanted to be a prisoner. Whatever puts me back in the world of people. Some of the others required considerable persuasion. I'll take her from here, Governor. She's all yours! To be clear, you'll be unchained, but not unfettered. And please be aware, you will be a clown for always. I haven't really needed to walk in these shoes before. Not much floor space in the dungeon, eh? We actually have some vast replacements for you. Bright, bright rubberized. I keep being told it's Javier Brasiliensis. Reckon they'll put a spring in your step. Who's that over there? That's a mime. Don't talk to him. We're just in here. And sit down, please. Over to you. Now let's begin. I'm so glad you're willing to become a member of our circus family. Most people call me the Ringmeister. I have an agreement with the mayor to put this town on the map. Hence, among other things, the clowns. I'm Anna Mowgli. Do not tell me that! It's not true in any case. Your name is Monkey Puzzle. Monkey Puzzle the Funny Clown. You do know how to be funny. I can learn. You will never say that old name again. I mean it. Put your finger in your mouth. Come on, index. Put your finger. Feel down behind your front teeth. A lot of space there. A deep cavity. Do you like mice? I like rats. They're clean and clever. Here's a cage with narrow bars. Tidbit the pygmy mouse you'll see is very, very, very small. She's going to live in your mouth and make a clown of you. It's the new way of things. See now, neither of you are in your prisons. Here she is. You should stroke her while she's still dry and let her learn the smell of you. It ought to prevent too much scratching when she's installed in a few moments. I don't need a mouse controlling my thoughts. I can learn the discipline of folly and buffoonery another way. And have your evenings off, I suppose, and live to plot sedition and escape. No, I don't allow that. You'll be a clown all the time, every waking moment. The condition of your release is that you become a clown who is always on. Always clowning and tumbling. And if you ever speak without joking or run without tripping and wobbling and bouncing back, Tidbit will make you wish you hadn't. And if you harbour ambitions to say anything which is less than hilarious, you ought to do it right now or forever hold your peace. So I still have a choice? For the last time, yes. Clown me up. Here we go! You may experience some tickling and discomfort while your mouth mouse beds in, but you'll soon get along like a horse on fire. Open wide. Ah, ah. She's only Diddy, no need for fuss. You can have a glass of water in a few minutes once Tidbit is secure. But before that, tell me who you are. I'm Monkey Puzzle. Ah! You have to say it like you mean it. Clowns have energy, conviction, a certain dynamism. There is a word for clowns who lack energy. Ah! That was a setup for a joke, and you completely missed it. I don't know the punchline. Ah! You once had the wit to do crime. This shouldn't be beyond you. All the town and the circus ask of you is your total energy and identity. You're right. I had the wit, or half of it at least. <laughs> <laughs> Tolerable. Drink this, and I'll call the costume boys. You have a lot to learn. You can talk. Of course I can talk. And a mouth mouse in the mouth of a clown. Can you help me make jokes? Ah! You'll have to learn how to ask in a funnier way, or I'll prickle your gums. I think we're going to be good friends. Wakey, wakey, monkey puzzle. 
Clowns are meant to sleep in their boots. What if a child saw? I'll tell them to shoo. <laughs> wakey, wakey, Mr. Finn. Did our mime sleep well? Uh, I don't know. I think the cat's got his tongue. You are literally correct. Looks like they're all up and awake, sir. I dreamed I was eating a marshmallow, and when I woke up, my mattress was gone. <laughs> <laughs> that seems somehow unlikely. Later it turned out I'd been sleeping in a hammock. It was a bit of a joke. More of a ha-ha hammock. <laughs> that doesn't make sense, though, because jokes don't laugh. Except knock-knock jokes. Who's there, jokes? Ha-ha. Ha-ha who? Ha-ha who who he he ha 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 <laughs> It's a laughing joke. Or is it a joking laugh? All right, all right. Don't bust a nut. Mr. Thin, I can hear your nostril breath. It's indecorous for a mime. Flogan, see that Mr. Thin gets a handkerchief and some instruction in its usage. Right away. I've got a question about Tidbit. I mean, I know this circus is going to be a word of mouth success. <laughs> Shoot. What do I do if I drink some ooh, ooh, hot, hot tea and Tidbit suddenly dies from scolding? Tell me that isn't a threat or a plot. No, it's more just a question. But it could be a plot point. <laughs> That's very weak. The hottest tea often is. <laughs> I'm just looking out for my furry friend. What would happen to me if she did squeak the bucket? <laughs> would I get another little mouth mouse to drive around my clown mind, or...? It's really a matter of how far clown you were. See, the condition is permanent, but the mouse is not. Or not necessarily. A mouth mouse is not a clown engine, it's a spark. They don't make you a clown, they make you become a clown. For you see, clowns are like monks or bimbos. On some deep level, we all want to be them. For all the fear and disgust we might profess towards that idea. Their singular purpose is irresistible because it makes life simple. By the time Tidbit is nested in, you'll hardly need her. You'll find clownery is irresistibly infectious. Lifelong. More a calling than a sentence. I think I can hear her calling right now. <laughs> go! Cavort, it's a big day today! Ringmeister, there's trouble with Bamboozle. All right, all right. In the infirmary? This way, this way! I know, I know. No need to stand up, bamboozle. Am I to take it your injury is still with you? I'm awful sorry about my leg. Guess I'll have to hop it. <laughs> Do you want the good news or the bad news? Oh, bad news first. G good news for pudding. <laughs> I say, I say. Why is a tired clown like a wounded horse? <laughs> now, how does one hold a funeral for clowns? Be a darling flogan and fish the mouse out of her hole. What was the good news going to be? Oh, my sister is going to be adopting a child. That's great. Any particular gender? I couldn't really say. Hey, Tidbit. Tidbit. What do you call a monkey who's been puzzled by me? I don't know. Ape anything you want, because he can't hear you. <laughs> Did you know all monkeys are deaf? I still don't know that. That's because they aren't. It's a misnamer. That's like a misnomer, but for names. <laughs> or is it for gnomes? <laughs> Perhaps we might focus on tumbling? How did you get to be a mouth mouse? Did you cheese it? <laughs> I have a little fly in my mouth who guides me in my work. What do you call a fly with no legs? Jamie has legs. They help him hold on to my tongue. And what do you call a fly with no legs and no wings? I don't know. A current. <laughs> if I open my mouth, you might be able to hear him. <laughs> right, you funny crew, we need a volunteer for... There's a volunt right here. <laughs> <laughs> Monkey puzzle, you really are keen to do anything and everything, and it starts to make me suspicious. Knock, knock. Who's there? Nobody, you're just being paranoid. <laughs> <laughs> Very well, fluff up your bushy, bushy hair and see me at the big top. Big top? But the peak of the tent is the smallest point. It ought to be called a great big bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Monkey Puzzle reporting for duty. Why are you so keen? It's somehow like this is what you've always been waiting for. No, I don't like the jokes or makeup much, but I like to be up on my feet, down on my bum, up on my feet, down on my bum, and all of that. <laughs> Plus the smell of the crowd, the animal fresh air, the chance to communicate. Ah, so that's what it's about. Don't cut in before a clown's punchline. Gotta wait in line or you'll get a punch. <laughs> a pinch and a punch on the first of the month. <laughs> that was yesterday. Today is Saturday, and at the weekend, as you know, we like to be a little more expensive. The short and long of it is, we need you to fight a bear. Crikey, I guess you're the bearer of bad news. <laughs> we rehearsed it thoroughly with Marigold Pete, but he died this morning of nothing at all, so you'll need to fill in. Sounds like a hairy situation, <laughs> but I'll bear this responsibility. <laughs> Joking aside... Joking aside? Never. Joking comes out my front, unless you mean a backside. Hoo-hoo. <laughs> 
<laughs> this needs to be fun for the spectators, but you will have to take your safety seriously. Wounds and maulings are not as fun to watch as you'd imagine. And we have the mayor's niece in today. Remember, you are an asset. Harumph. So try not to go losing limbs willy-nilly. Gee, I wonder if there's a philosophical movement called willy nihilism. <laughs> you might die. <laughs> Your cue is coming up fairly soon, so I'll give you a moment to limber up. Here you go. Give him a show, two to four minutes, and back to the pen intact. Things are looking a bit grizzly, tidbit. <laughs> Hop fast, be nimble, and tumble away from the roaring. I'll bare my teeth and try not to fall on my Ursa Major. <laughs> I can hear your cue. I'm a bit tempted to do a bit of bareback riding. You know, ride or die. Be funny for the crowd. Don't get us both killed. In and out. Two minutes. That's the bare minimum. <laughs> cool, that bear's got huge teeth. It's obviously not just a gummy bear. <laughs> Say, what do you call it? Uh -oh. That bear looks like it's eaten a... Careful, it's coming! <laughs> it's tearing her apart! <laughs> I'm joking! could do more for the situation than inviting the Pavlovich twins, which could be quite a coup. Monkey puzzles awake. I'll be over shortly. Did I lose any legs? No, you were lucky, I think. Probably looked worse than it felt. It felt like I was eating a regular-sized marshmallow. <laughs> you might be concussed. When they brought you in, you had your mouth mouse stuck in your airway. Tidbit! Is, is she all right? Yeah, she is. Good as new. Open up. Can I have a moment before I go back to clown time? No. By the way, the mayor's niece shed more blood than you did as she laughed so hard her nose bled. We won't be pitting you against the animals again. Here's one to take internally. Open your mouse mouth. Uh... And smile. We have a powerful secret. It must be very secret, because I don't know what it is. I'd be a terrible secretary. <laughs> now we can turn to more than clowning. What could be more than a clown? We can't be two clowns. I don't think these stripy trousers would accommodate. <laughs> Listen calmly. After moons of distraction and direction, I am of a clear mind because I swallowed my mouth fly. Perhaps you'll die. <laughs> <laughs> we all will, and that is why we too must take action. They think I will lead you only into clowning, but we can do more. Rudolf Pavlovich is coming here. Not THE Rudolf Pavlovich. I don't know who that is. He's nobody. But his father and brother are powerful figures. And he is next in line to ascend the admirality of all law. Take Rudolf and we take the admirality. Take him how? Take him out to the ball game? <laughs> if necessary, our moment will come. But until then, fall back on funniness. Clown high and clown wild. But know now, everything is different. Rudolf Pavlovich, the young marshal. A pleasure to meet someone so well-connected, Marshal Rudolph. I trust you enjoyed our circus tonight. Yeah, the best part was the clowns. Clowns are my favourite. You have exquisite taste. This is Borboflor, one of our finest comic acrobats, and her partner Flora Lynn, the jewel in the crown of that highest of high arts, the trapeze. And here, come here, Monkey Puzzle. I noticed she caught your eye. Now, here comes our chance. Have a care. Howdy, your majesty. I'm not a majesty, really. I'm a marshal. For one moment. But I'm going to be the new admiral once John Misney dies. Get close to him, Monkey Puzzle. I like the pie fight very much. Apple pies are the reason I joined the circus. Someone told me they were apple-eye within. <laughs> when my guards fight, people bleed and die, but I liked your pie fight better. You should give your soldiers pies when they're on sentry duty. It'd show them how to look round. <laughs> I liked your big shiny shoes too. Do your toes go all the way to the end? There and back again some days. I keep asking for an extension. <laughs> Are they lace-ups or slip-ons? I've always wanted to try clown shoes. Neither. Or they slipped on once, but they don't slip off again. I'm like the cow children. They'll bury me in my boots. This is perfect, monkey puzzle. Lean in closer. I hope your feet don't sweat up all nasty. Don't worry. I'm not the first to live like this. I knew an old lady who lived in a shoe. If a giant had stuck its foot in it, she'd be turned into goo. He's hanging on your every word. A perfect quarry. What do you want, Titbit? Kiss him. What are you talking about? Clowns don't do that sort of thing. You're meant to be enforcing that. I can make you do it. There's something about you, Monkey Puzzle. You're different to other clowns. I don't know, there's just something in your eye. There's something in my mouth. <laughs> oh, can I taste it? Oh, come closer. Yes, yes, kiss, 
kiss him on the mouth. Come here, monkey. Get off that dignitary. I am so sorry, Marshal Rudolph. And you, monkey puzzle. Ow, ow. Logan, get her out of my sight. I was just trying to smell his moustache. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was enjoying that. I'm going to show you that is not a service our clowns provide. You stay in here. The ringmeister's going to tear your ass off after that. I didn't see everything, but were you trying to kiss that snotty little marshal? What possessed you? What possessed him? He started it. I was possessed by a little mouse, you know. Take the reins here, Tidbit. That's another thing. Tidbit ought to have clawed at your tonsils for acting like that. Look, I don't understand the whole mouth-mouse jamboree, but there are going to be some heavy questions later. Wait in here. Tidbit, you're getting us in trouble. Just make me be a funny clown. I just want to be a funny clown. I'm so close to being a clown, heart and soul. I could be so simple. We nearly had him. He nearly had you. Is that what you want? A smackaroo with the buckaroo? Buckaroos aren't soldiers. They're cowpokes. Well, this was a missed stake. (laughs) If you had not resisted, it might have been well done. What the hell do you think you've been playing at? Clowns do not love, not even in jest. Clowns do not lie soft on a lover's bosom. Yet I turn my back for half a minute and you're splayed across Rudolf Pavlovich, the son of Pavlu Einsteiger. Quite how your mouse permitted... I was toppling and tumbling. It looked a lot more like topping and fumbling. What do you want, Flogan? Marshal Rudolph says he has a thing to say to you. Look, you talk to him and I'll send this one to muck out the stables. Think about what she's done. She's not a person anymore to punish in personal ways. Above all, we do not send her to do non-clown work. We are not building a non-clown. Monkey Puzzle, go to the barracks and see if you can make the soldiers laugh at jokes or falling over or what have you. Put a smile on those grey faces. This is how we do it, Flogan. Clown's got a clown. Go with her and see if you can keep her out of love and loin work. Wake up, clown. I've come to find you. I'm awful sorry I got you in trouble. What? Oh, uh, I was just dreaming that I was eating my hammock. And when I woke up, none of the little spiders had homes to go to. (laughs) They wouldn't let you see me, so I came to you. I wanted to tell you, you have the funniest eyes I've ever seen. Thanks. Now is our chance. Or should I say, aye aye, Captain. (laughs) I'm a marshal, but I'm going to be the new admiral when Misney dies. You mentioned. Oh no, I'm falling out of my hammock. (laughs) Let me help you up. You're really not meant to be here, so you'd be helping me up to no good. (laughs) <laughs> but I am good. Something in my heart tells me you are too. Something in my mouth tells me it wants to be in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew clowns could be so romantic? Well, we roam around and get up to all sorts of antics. <laughs> I've never kissed a person before. Do you think clowns count? I can count to a hundred. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Embrace the man. Communicate the mouse. Will it smudge your makeup? What makeup? Clowns just look like this, and so could you. <laughs> Come here, monkey. Farewell, monkey puzzle. Ah, There's something in my mouth. That's just my mouth mouse, Tidbit. She's going to make you think like a clown. Everyone should become what they love. What? Like a clown? I'm not going to make you a clown. I'm going to make you a steed and ride on to the Admiralty. I can't spit it out. I used to think that when two people really love each other and kiss, they swap bodies or swap personalities. You must obey me, Rudolph Pavlovich. Kissing is horrible. I feel empty. Like I haven't eaten empty tea. <laughs> Tell Tidbit she'll come back when the work is done, so I can become a full clown. A true clown. My clown in glory. <laughs> what fresh hell is this? Marshal Rudolph, you have smudges of clown around your mouth. It's all clown hill from here. <laughs> Guards, restrain her. Restrain this wretched convict. Don't you mean this wretched clown? If I'm right, you have just forfeited your clownhood, who now dwells in the mouth of that man. Monkey Puzzle, you are banished from the circus with no mice. Fit her with chains. You can go with the slavers in the morning. Yes. West of West. She... she made me eat a tongue mouse. Call more soldiers. Have them fitted with mice. So that's how it goes. I didn't want this. I wanted to be full clown. To be monkey puzzle. I don't give an ass. Get her out of my sight. I'm so thirsty I could drink a horse. We all bloody thirst, you monster. That's why they call it a desert. If the West goes on forever, you're going to thirst till you pop. Leave her alone, John. Seriously. 
Lead a horse to me. I need to drink. I've seen mimes die. Pretty it was and pretty grim. Maybe a clown. Next, see how you can joke while you choke. Town up ahead. Clown town, mayhap. Thank the bloody spirits, but no water for this one. No water for monkey puzzle. Hey, where did you spring from? It's clown here, boss. Oh, don't mind me. Just a local clown out to see the chain gang have the courage of their convictions. Be quick about it, then. Who's the one going thirsty? I'm so scorched. Maybe I'll win thirst prize. Leave her be. Is it all right if she smells this oversized flower on my lapel? No funny business. It ought to have been like finding a monkey in a puzzle, simplicity itself, a clown at liberty and at large. Yet ninety days, that's more than six fortnights, and we are in every case too late to the scene. How? How does she do it? I didn't see it at the time, but she was a clown beyond compare. She was an excellent clown. No, she wasn't good at it, per se, but her heart beat in sympathy with her mouth-mouse. I say she was great. And you work for me. How rude of me. For a moment I still believed I was under contract to none but our mayor. How might I serve you, Marshal Rudolf? Rudolf Pavlovich, son of Pavlu Einsteiger, heir to the Admiralty. Bring back Monkey Puzzle and make more clowns. Funny clowns. From whom? The audience. Have them overrun with a pack of mice. We did that before, and the choking, the waste, and the shock that killed. It was bad for repeat custom. Make my soldiers eat mice. They're soldiers, so you make them, Marshal. I have no power in that area. Uh, you're useless. Do not goad the Ringmeister, Rudy. He's an ally as long as he chooses to be. He should be sucking on a mouse. Ringmeister doesn't require one. He's far past your infantile dependency on the mind teat. I should be a clown. You should be a man and an admiral. I should be a clown. You make my work intolerable. Don't force the pain solution. Ah, 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 we can do so ah, much for the mice. I'm thinking the clown thoughts again. I'm thinking clown. I'm thinking clown! Ah! I'm here in the nick of time, Flogan. Have you been waiting long? Well, it is a waiting room. What's the news? Same old story, same old song. Monkey Puzzle is out there scavenging, biting living mice off farm fields. I talked to one of the farmers. And I suppose he said it saved on cats. No, they said they'd seen Monkey Puzzle bite up shrews, a mole, a squirrel, and even a scorpion. They had to throw her out after she ate the family hamster. Well... Held it in her mouth until it was solidly bathed. What do you mean, had to throw her out? Sounded like Monkey Puzzle was looking for an audience. They hired her half a week to entertain their dying mum. That was when the hamster thing... An audience? Perhaps it might be worth checking more circuses. Ah, twenty-five past. That's my cue, I think. Knock, knock. Hope I'm not disturbing you, Dr. Dentist. To be sure, I could use a break in the action. Admiral Rubix, this ringmeister is here to see you. Oh yes, I do see the resemblance. You're a bastard who's done a number on my brother. The same. We're actually hunting the clown responsible for his current enthusiasm. She's the one that cracked my cheeks. I'm sorry, she did what? Kissed him a little too thoroughly. That bint nearly tore my tongue out. Cracked his cheekbone, subluxated the gum. Never seen that before. Admiral Rubix, for this, you have my half-hearted apologies. He touched several fillings and somehow left all the canines and incisors tilted outward by an extra ten to twelve degrees. Can't even breathe through my nose now. Oh uh, yeah, some funny impact on the cartilaginous matter. Did she give you any clue which way she was going? Back to you and your bloody circus. Ow! See, now one of your premolars is twisted. And that's your cue to recommend, Dr. Dentist. Tooth hurty. Now get this man some laughing gas. Tidbit kept me regular as treacle. Kept me joking. A joke that can't get in is a knock-knock joke. But what do you call a joke that can't get out? Mouse, 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 mouse. (laughs) Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. You already know all my jokes, mouse, mouse, mouse. I ought to call you Hikikomori because you're a little memento. Or are you a memo? Mouse, 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 mouse. That's what I meant. Everywhere I look is clowns now. Mouse, mouse, mouse. A clown could go mad with all these clowns. Mouse, mouse, mouse. Here it is. This is home. This big tent. We've made it. Well, we didn't literally make it. It was already here. Mouse, 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 mouse. Big bottom, I call it. On account of that's the truth. (laughs) Hey, look out. Don't know the clown soldiers from the soldier clowns these days. Mouse, mouse, mouse? Mouse, mouse, mouse? You're not what I need, mouse, mouse. You won't goad me and direct me. 
but if I can get through here... Are you? Hey, I know you don't have baboon jigsaw. That, that ain't it. Marmoset bagatelle? That's the one. Oh no, monkey puzzle. Poop, bum, bottom, willy and shit. I've got a foul mouth because a field mouse just pooed in it. <laughs> but I don't want to be rude unless I can be rude Olf because that's who I'm looking for. <laughs> He's behind you. He willingly well isn't. Well, not directly, but if you really want to get the itch, the Rudolf Pavlov itch, that is, you can't go wrong heading off in the direction of your rear. Sounds like a rear treat or a retreat. <laughs> if you'd already come from that direction, you could retread your footstep. Oh, that's probably where the word retreat comes from in the first place. Sorry, I was aiming for a joke, but wound up with some plausibly factual speculation on the origin of words. Many a true thing said in jest. Come on, mouse, 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 mouse. Through this way. Mouse, 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 mouse. I need a true mouse. A real mouse to change me and direct me and... Monkey puzzle. It's her. You came back for me. Have a care, Rudy. She is good for you and for your mind. But you must spurn her advances. I need you more than she needs me. I missed you so much. Missed you both. But I can't miss you with a gun. Oh, no. Oh, no. But that's only because I can't fire one with these big plush gloves on. <laughs> Sorry if I made it sound like a threat there. But I'm a lover, not a fighter. I've been drawing pictures of you, monkey. Do you want to see? Back away from her. But I long for her luscious lips. I just want to clown again with fluffy little tidbit. Time to bring out the power that's inside, Rudolph. Strike her. I don't want to. Ah! Smite her. Call for the guards. Come on, Tidbit. I know you've got to be missing me. That is beside the point. I need this foothold on the Admiralty for the sake of the future of all mice. I can't stand this confusion in my mouth. From my darkest heart, Rudy, I compel you to say these words. Let's do it. Pie fight. Pie fight? What am I talking about? Pie fight! Someone say pie fight? Pie fight? It's the pie fight. I feel like the piper because I just got <laughs> pie. Ow! Ow! Oh, oh, pies! <laughs> pies hurt. Caught in the act. Clowns keep pieing. Guards shoot anything that might be a mouse. Everybody else, get out. Tidbit, do not desert me. <laughs> what a waste. A damn waste. I was going to eat these pies. Monkey puzzle. The pies flew, and clown Captain Rudolph has fallen insensible. You successfully extracted the mouse from the man's mouth, but she fell from your lip, like an errant crumb in the ensuing pie fight, and rolled away. I thought she was a bit quiet. She's normally as loud as a mouse. Is she dead, or just dead small? A mystery. Tidbit may be dead or escaped, and we won't really know which... Until one dark night, a human mouth finds it has a furry new inhabitant, and the cycle begins again. Find me another mouth mouse. I can serve in your circus. Silver service with the right silver tongue. You never really honed that art. But as they say in some parts, not my circus, not my monkey puzzle. I fulfilled my task as the town of clowns and armies is now firmly on the map, for better or for worse. The circus is going to be destroyed, or at least decommissioned, and the clowns sent to labour. And after you sabotaged their greatest scheme, there is no mouse alive would find you palatable. Your clowning days are through. But I have the hunger for it, the heart for it, the face for it. My hair is full flush red and I've been growing my feet out. I'm all clown but clown. There is nothing else for me. I could care less, but I shan't. Goodbye forever. Now where am I going to tell all my jokes? Excuse me, are you Monkey Puzzle, the funny clown? I was, until nine seconds ago. Now I'm nobody the unclown. I just hope the dungeon will let me back in. Well, that is funny, because I'm looking for an unclown who doesn't mind constricted living quarters. I know you. When I was thirsting on the desert march, it was you who squirted me with water. Yes, you were dancing and grinning and panting. You looked jolly thirsty. See... I needed someone who appreciates water. This is really too perfect. Whatever it is, whatever agony or indignity... Oh, quite the opposite. I aim to make contact with the oceans below. I need you to live in the mouth of a great big fish and, you know, guide and gladden them. I could live in a fish. I will. I will do it. Take me to the place. Actually, it's a big salmon. <laughs> My name is Rudolf Pavlovich, Admiral, Leader of Men. For years I've searched the land for the clown I lost, but rumour is she was never on the land. 
Rumour is she lives in the mouth of a fish and in the hearts of every fish. So every day I eat fish, hoping to find in a mouthful that monkey puzzled clown. That through a fish's flesh and a moment on my lips, she could do forever what that mouse once tried to, and change my mind. Change my mind. Change my mind. Change. Cow pokes, cow you pokes listen to Cow Children, kind of children Monkey Puzzle. Monkey Puzzle the Clown was played by Natalie by Ashton. Lady. Tidbit by Dylan Reed Miller, The Ringmeister by Ben Swithin, The Brothers Pavlovich were played by Benja Martin, Logan by Chelsea Hare, and Dr. Dentist was Philip J. Cook. Next episode, Person Sandchester goes to Wackenfeld Kierkegaard. Cow pokes, cow folks, every kind of cow children, cow kin, cow skin, whatever cow you be. And there's just time for the epilogue. Dear viewer, if all your clothing was utterly and forever destroyed, and you had to pick one new outfit to wear every day, something you'd never worn before, just multiple copies of the same new look for the rest of your natural, would clown really be so bad? Anyway, like and subscribe, stick around for more episodes. If you would like to leave nice reviews on iTunes, then cow children will last for a thousand years. Heck, you could even join the Discord or the Patreon, but why would you?